Hello and welcome to Megor's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss the lead setup and connections to the Megor TTRU3 transformer turns ratio meter. Let's get started. The TTRU3 performs a complete series of ratio tests including three phase and single phase step up and step down turns ratio testing in one instrument and is an important tool for determining the mechanical condition of transformers. The three-phase universal lead set simplifies connecting to any transformer. All of the leads can be connected at once. Lead spans range from 15 feet to 100 feet, ensuring you can connect and test any transformer configuration. The TTR U3 lead set is color-coded to minimize connection errors while setting up the test. Let's look at the primary lead set. The leads are red in color. They have color-coded clamps for each phase and have silver colored XLR connectors that connect to the TTRU3 end. Now let's go over to the secondary lead set. The secondary leads are black in color. They have color coded clamps for each phase and have black colored XLR connectors that connect to the TTRU3 end. The durable Kelvin clamps extend up to 3 inches for connecting to any bushing size. The clamps also accept safety banana plugs, making it easy to connect the three-phase lead set to a CT terminal block. Electrical shock and potential markings are clearly displayed on the clamp, informing operators how to connect safely and securely. Let's begin connections with the TTRU3. First is the ground connection. Use the Megor supplied safety ground cable to connect the TTRU3 ground potential terminal directly to the local station earth ground. Ensure that the transformer chassis also has a low impedance connection to local station or the ground. Next is the input power. Make sure the on off switch is in the off position and then connect the power cable to the TTRU3 first and then to the power source. At this time, leave the on off switch in the off position. Then we move on to the primary and secondary leads. So the leads of the TTRU3 have to be disconnected from the test specimen at this point and you would take the other end and connect the primary and secondary leads to the TTRU3. Make sure that all plugs are fastened securely to the TTR so they will not become loose if anyone trips over inadvertently over the leads. In case you are using an OLTC controller you can connect on the TTRU3 and the other end of those OLTC leads can be connected to the control panel of the tap changer. But it's very important to make sure that the OLTC wiring diagram is reviewed. Now let's discuss connecting to a test specimen. When testing high voltage transformers, caution must be used all times and all safety precautions should be followed. Ensure that the leads of the TTRU3 using the Kelvin clamps are making direct contact with the metal on the test specimen. For example, if you're using transformer bushings, make sure that the Kelvin clamps are contacting the metal spades or metal terminals of the bushings and use leads of the appropriate length uh, for the item under test. Ensure that the leads are not tightly coiled as this may influence the ratio measurement. Once these practices are followed and these steps are complete, testing can begin. This concludes lead setup and connections to the Mega TTRU3 transformer turns ratio meter. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.